Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chet. One of the most popular questions I see online, especially in the world of new online business owners, is how to make a PDF workbook fillable or editable. Let's face it, the PDF is one of, if not the most popular pieces of online business. You can use them to grow your email list by offering a freebie to new subscribers, or you can also use them to supplement your online courses. They're an awesome way to get your students and customers to actually take action on what you are teaching them. But how do you actually Actually make one well my friend that's why we're here today by the way if you're new to my channel welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post one of these educational videos thanks okay with that out of the way let's dive in so we'll be using canva to create your PDF if you aren't using Canva yet, click on the link in the description to create your account. It's totally free, but if you're going to be creating a bunch of graphics throughout your business, which you probably are, I highly recommend a paid version. So much value there. Okay, once you're in Canva account, the first thing you want to do is create a new design over here. You can either choose A4 or US letter. That's normally the workbook size or the worksheet size or whatever size you need. You can also choose the templates over here. They already have the sizes covered here. You can also use the custom size button, this one. So when you click create a design, you can choose any of the suggested size or click custom size. So for now, let's do US letter document, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. Next is the fun part. You can either choose a template to start with from the selection on the left here, or you can also start from scratch and create your own brand and new design. This option is completely up to you, but if you're like me, I'd start with a template. Otherwise, I'll spend way too long trying to decide on a design. So let me try this one. You can also actually search over here. I'm going to assume here that you've chosen a template to start with because it's easier unless you are a designer. Most likely your template has some text filled in already like this one. Some images also, so let's change those. Overall, Canva is pretty self-explanatory. You can change the colors, text, images. You can either use Canva images or upload your own. So for example, you have this one. We can change anything here. We can change the color to maybe something like this. Or we can also put, let's go to elements and we can put like a checklist. So let's do it like this maybe a checklist here so we can also use put some line here maybe just two so once you've finished edited your whole PDF it's time to save and download it so click the download or the share so click share over here and hit download now click on the drop down menu so make sure it says PDF standard or high quality but this will give you a much larger file so I recommend standard because most places where you will upload your file will have file size limits. So you want to make sure that your downloaded PDF won't exceed those limits. So let's just do PDF standard here and then click on download. And I recommend saving it to your desktop for now. You'll need easy access to it. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe, like, and share. I really appreciate that. And it helps me out a lot. Okay, let's make your PDF fillable. What does this even mean? It simply means that your clients and leads can download your workbook and type in it. It's super simple to do. So let's get to it. Start by going to DocHub.com. I'm going to put the link in the description. This is a free app that you can sign into with your Google account. Now that you're here, click on New Document to upload the beautiful PDF you just downloaded from Canva. I told you you'd need easy access. So click on upload or drag and drop your files. So just hit on upload. So once your PDF is uploaded, click the manage field. This one over here, it's to the left of the printer icon and this opens up the sidebar we need to create fillable fields. Okay, some buttons we'll be using will be the text field button, the paragraph field, and sometimes the check field. If you have check boxes for the checklist like this one's over here. So I'm gonna show you that later. So to add a field to your PDF, just simply click the one that you want to add. So for example, I want to do the check box field. So I simply click on this and then 
Here you can see this greenish thing with a dotted line or ant lines here. Just click and then do that. And you can also resize it or you can move it around like so. You can resize it like this or you can move it like this. And then do it again over here. So now you have a track box. Now I want to put like a text field over here or a text box. So I'm going to use this. And again, you can see this green box. Okay, and do it again over here. There you go. I'm going to do it again here. And uh, resize it to this like so. And for here, I want to use the paragraph. So it's going to be a little bit bigger. Like this. And I'm just going to move it somewhere here. After you've added a box anywhere you want clients to be able to fill in, it's time to download the PDF. Yes, again, because now we need the copy with the fillable spaces. So click on this drop down menu here and you have download export. Just click on that. Now it wants you to either download it to your computer, drive, classroom, Dropbox, OneDrive. And for the content, it's either document or audit trail. And the current version, you have some choices over here. So I'm just going to do all this computer and document and just hit on download. And it will process the file for you. And voila! Now you've got a beautiful fillable PDF workbook for your new email subscribers and clients. Simply take the file you've just downloaded and upload it wherever you need it. So let's open that fillable file and see it in action. You can open it in on preview or Acrobat Reader or any apps that can open a PDF file. So here, oh, I think I messed up my checkbox, but here you can do this and type anything like so. And if you want to print this one, just download it and print. And there you have it. To recap, first, create your Canva account if you don't already have one. Second, Use Canva to create your PDF. I recommend starting with one of Canva's many, many templates if you are a complete beginner. Trust me, they'll make your life so much easier. And the third one is download your completed PDF. Fourth is upload your new PDF to Doc Hub and fill the space where you want clients and customers to fill in answers. Last one is download this new fillable version of your PDF and upload it wherever you need it like your course, your email platform, your Facebook group, etc. And if you want a full video tutorial on creating a PDF in Canva, check out my playlist and then come back here to follow the steps for creating the fillable boxes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share this on social media as well. This gives me reasons to keep making these free videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye!